Hi, now a lot of people are interested in this, and to be honest, for a while I thought it was a bit odd, and then I realised that, hey, there are lots of reasons to be interested in this. And the question was how to make a bulletproof vest out of graphene. Now, you can't make a bulletproof vest out of pure graphene, and there's one big reason why. Let's assume these are our plates of graphene. Now, the biggest we can mass produce these kind of things tends to be in about the 45 micron region. You can get them a bit bigger, but that tends to be how it is. If you want one whole big sheet measuring 30 centimetres by 30 centimetres, actually, you still can't get a whole sheet of graphene. And there's another reason why I'll explain. But let's say we get a whole load of our little graphene bits like this, and we start laying them over each other to make our sheet of graphene. And sure enough, it'll make a continuous sheet of graphene. And if we tried to penetrate it at this point here, then it wouldn't go through. It'd be superbly strong. But remember, it's only about 45 microns big. That's just about the size of your blood cell. Actually, your blood cell is around about 5 to 10 microns. So a little bit bigger than your blood cell. Now, if we do that and we fire a bullet at it or try to penetrate it with the knife, the chances are it's going to hit one of the edges. Even if it hits a centre, it's going to put all the force on the edges, and that will penetrate because it will snap at the edges, because the edges are really quite weak. Whereas a sheet of graphene itself is strong, at this edge here where it meets, it's actually really quite weak. So in order to make something bulletproof out of graphene, what you need to do is find some way of joining those edges together. Now let's say we grow it as a whole big sheet, um, we try to do it on a bit of copper in one whole sheet. The thing doesn't grow evenly and spontaneously. What it does is it grows in little spots, and it starts to grow in spots and get bigger. And as these spots get bigger and bigger and bigger, they eventually join up to make our whole sheet of graphene. But again, the graphene grows these little breaks in between it that match up with each other, but they're still weak points. So if we fire something at that, again, it's going to snap at the weak points, because the weak points are really weak. So although the graphene itself is quite strong, at its joins, it's quite weak. And we need to be able to make a sheet, but it's one whole pure sheet. And that's really, really difficult, actually verging on impossible. So we need to come up with some other strategy, some other way of joining those graphene bits and pieces together so that they make, in effect, one whole sheet. Now, uh, this is a little snug, but I think I've done it, and I'm quite impressed by it, really. And you might remember me showing you this plastic that had graphene reinforcement in it. And it starts its life, re oh, it actually starts its life like that. It comes out of the process and it's these kind of like um, candy-like lumps. Then I powder it, so it gets to be a powder like that. And then I put it into a press and a mould and press it down until it's finished. And when it comes out, it's like that. And I've showed you this before, and again, there's no point in asking me what's actually in here, because remember, this was done for somebody else, so I can't give you the details of it. But essentially, what this is, is a graphene reinforced... Okay, this plastic. is not terribly, terribly scientific, but what I've got here is a sharpened point of steel. It's actually a screwdriver with a sharpened point on it. There's the reinforced plastic on a bit of... Um, plastic bedding there, and what I'm going to do is whack it damn hard. So here goes. Oh. Try that again. It's about three millimetres thick. And we took this down to a materials testing lab and um, basically put it under a whole load of force. The early version of this didn't have as much graphene as this did. The early version has um, about half a percent of graphene, and it snapped and it snapped at 300 kilograms. Now, that was amazing, because it was six millimetres, the previous bit, snapped at 300 kilograms. The equivalent steel would snap at 500 kilograms. So, that was absolutely amazing. Now, I've taken a section of this down as well and tested this, and this snaps, actually, at about 450 kilograms. And if you try to bend it, you really have no, no chance at all. It really can't bend that. So I've got a bit of steel here that's got a relatively equivalent thickness, it's actually about two and a half millimetres instead of three. And if I try to bend that, I actually have no problem bending that. I can bend that, but I can't bend that. So that will break with 450 kilograms on it, and that's uh, actually three millimetres thick. Now it weighs 19 grams. An equivalent bit of steel would weigh around about 90 grams. So even at the same thickness, then the steel at 90 grams 
would actually break at 250 kilograms and this breaks at 450 kilograms. So volume for volume, that little disc of graphene reinforced plastic is stronger, about twice as strong as steel. Weight for weight, it's about 10 times stronger than steel. So what we've got here is a um, graphene reinforced plastic that weight for weight is 10 times stronger than steel and um, volume for volume, twice as strong as steel. So obviously what we could do with that, now that we've got it here, is we could make that into a bulletproof vest because even at that thickness, that's going to stop a bullet. Now I need to send that down to the ballistics labs now because I've sent that down to the materials testing lab to get these results for you. And what I need to do is send it off somewhere and have somebody fire bullets at it. Because it's certainly strong enough in terms of its um, comparison to steel to cope with it, but there's nothing like firing a bullet at something. So what I want to do now is send that off and have some bullets fired at it. But there you go, that is a bulletproof plastic uh, material that has been reinforced with graphene. And I'm actually quite proud of it. 